we're actually building the road. So far, yeah, it's been a great success for us. We're 75% northern and probably at least 50% to the sawtooth. All the equipment operators are northern. Uh, the only expertise that we brought in outside is our management team, our safety and our survey, but quality control. But other than that, it's, we've, we've kept it mostly to the SOT2 and to the Beaufort Delta region. For I get a lot of satisfaction in seeing people come in at entry level and acquire skills for long-term sustainable employment. I've been able to not only learn how to operate safely, efficiently, I've learned transitional skills that I can take on to different work sites. So this is a 3D model representing the surface of the road. So we've got the whole road from start to end, all your elevations, your horizontal position. And then from there, we just export that out. Um, into the dozer and Frank gets it in his dozer and he sees the same thing we see here. As he drives the dozer forward, it'll control the blade up and down to hit that grade. So even when he comes on an angle, it'll correct that blade up and down, left and right to get achieve the crown of the road, the crest of the road with the GPS on there. It's like having a surveyor strap to the blade. One of the biggest components of the proposal was the training program and employing people near which we did. So we put 12 trainees through our training program on rock trucks, excavator, and motor. And so out of those, all of them were guaranteed jobs. Some of them already moved on to bigger and better things. With the downturn in oil and gas activity, this 14 kilometer project is a huge uh, economic boost for our community and region. When I get up in the morning, I live just outside of town. You can see the lights up on the road, you can see the beacons, you can see all the activity. And without that, there would be no activity. Overall, we've had a resolution from SSI to continue the road. And this was the funding that was available at the time. We got it. And I don't see how we could push back on any portion of the road when we agree with it in principle. The Sawtoo needs an all-season road. We need the highway. We need to continue building. I was just in Ontario and I'm seeing where investors shared with me some information of where they're building roads as such. And it's very empowering for those isolated communities. It's just same here. Almost anything you do in terms of business is empowered. Building the road itself is considered major economic development in Canada, not just here. So that in and of itself is a source of empowerment.